Hello and welcome back to Zig's Math Lessons. This is an introduction to the graphs of the trigonometric functions. If you took a table of values and evaluated the sine of theta, where theta was 30 and 45 and 60 and 90, you would get values that match the following point. So we could say the sine of 0 is 0. And so we would have that point while the sine of 30 is a half. And we would have that point and so on. And these would be the points that you would achieve if you did a table of values where y equals sine of theta and theta was 120, 135, 150, 180, and so on. This is what the calculator would tell you. These are the points that you would get. And so y equals sine theta is a curve that looks like this. I've extended it here into the negative quadrants from minus 360 up to positive 360. And we can look at this periodic function, which is a repeated pattern of y values. It has an amplitude. The amplitude is 1. Try going inverse sine function of 1.1 on a calculator, and you'll find out that it will say error, because there is no angle with a sine greater than 1. The period for the curve is 360 degrees. The max value of the curve is 1, and the min value of the curve is minus 1. The zeros are these red dots. The sine of 0 is 0. The sine of 180 is 0. The sine of 360 is 0. All the multiples of 180 degrees. The sine of the multiples of 180 degrees are 0. Let's look at cosine. If I did the same thing with a cosine and took a table of values and said, OK, we'll take the cos of 0 and the cos of 30 and the cos of 45 and the cos of 60 on a calculator and plot the points from the table of values, we would get these points. The cos of 0 is 1. The cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. We know from the special triangles the cos of 45 is 1 over root 2. But we would do it on a calculator and get these decimals. The cos of 60, the cos of 90 is 0. The cos of 120 we know to be negative a half from the special triangles, and so on. From the calculator, we would get these points. And this is the cos curve. It looks like this. It is, in fact, the exact same curve as the sine curve, just shifted to the left. So I've extended it again into the negative quadrants, all the way back to negative 360 degrees. And we can see that, yes, it's the same curve. It has the same period, which is 360 degrees. It has the same amplitude, which is 1. It will have different zeros, however. The max of the curve is still 1. The min of the curve is still negative 1. But it will have different zeros. The zeros will be plus or minus 90, plus or minus 270, as we can see here. Now, I've got a special presentation here for you. Take a look at this. This is a seat on a Ferris wheel. Now, if I were to plot height above the ground versus time as this Ferris wheel turned, I would get the following curve.
This is what a sine wave actually is. It's height above the ground for a Ferris wheel starting at the middle part. Let's take a look at a coast curve. I said it was the same curve. It is the same curve. If we, if we just simply started the, the Ferris wheel with the seat at the top, let's take a look at the coast curve. If the seat's at the top, we have a coast curve. And so we can see that the sine curve and the cos curve are the same curves, just with, well, they just simply start at a different spot. Just for fun, let's show them both at the same time. Cos is in blue, sine is in red. These these two curves have multiple applications in biology and astronomy, length of days of the year. I'm Ziggle V at Beach Dunk. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you like the content, please subscribe. Check back daily for updates and new videos, and I'll see you soon.